What is good everybody? It's Unbeatable Jacob coming back with a very very rare special video of me ranting about 2k. So if you guys watch my streams you know I don't always talk about this game in just the most positive light ever. I try and call a ball a ball, a strike a strike, a spade a spade. And that's what I'm here to do today because after this great content drop of this Friday, there is something that kind of disappoints me. This card right here, Simmons, great. Shaq, great. Kuzma, great. Penny, great. Penny, Penny's good. Rudy, great. Bobby Jones, great. Alice Cruz, so underwhelming. But the thing that sticks out about him, he is far better than the Stephen Curry card. This Stephen Curry card, man, it's just deeper than what people think. It's deeper than what people think. Yes, he has 47 Hall of Fame badges. That's awesome. But at the end of the day, he's a six foot three point guard with a six foot three wingspan and the Stephen Curry dribble style. Now, I'll say if this dribble style was quick or shifty, this video would never have to be made. It would never, ever, ever have to see the light of the day. I would never, ever, ever have to see this card be so underwhelming playing this game. But I'm gonna go ahead and just load up and use the diamond Steph Curry because he literally has the exact same SIGs and show you what I mean by why this dribble style is so important, especially on a six foot three point guard. It's bad, it's bad. Um, gonna go ahead and compare him to Tyrese Halliburton real quick and just show you exactly what I'm talking about. But the way Steph Curry's been playing lately, just absolutely out of his mind, potential to win another MVP trophy. He's also one of my favorite players. I really, really wish that I could use this card right now. I really wish I could, but I'm gonna show you. First things first, I'm gonna use Tyrese Halliburton and show you guys something. This is all on next gen too. This is all on next gen. That's that's the main point here. This is a next gen type, type topic, but he's not any better on current gen. With Tyrese Halliburton, literally quick dribble style, see how he moves off of any dribble move right there, right? Out of the curry slide. You guys see that move right there, bang, right? It's like a little mini burst. This is also what you have to do to quick stop. You see that? See how he one, one move and goes, bang. That's the quick shifty dribble style, whatever you want to call it. You can do it out of any move, right? This is a move that you need to have on your point guards in this game to get open. It's just what the meta is at. Switch over to Steph Curry. Yes, this is the diamond Steph Curry, but it's literally the exact same dribble style. One move. Look at how much slower that is. Look at that. It's almost like, it's almost like he hesitates before he goes. And now it doesn't look that slow in motion. It really doesn't. But the thing is, it's just such a little bit amount of space. For a point guard that's 6'3", you would literally need that quicker shifty dribble style just to get open. But above all, above all, he can't quick stop. Because you go back to Halliburton, out of the quicker shifty, you're behind a screen. Ah, ah, ah. Bang. Quick stop. Shoot. Perfect. With Steph Curry, when you try and quick stop, you're just going to fade every single time. Every single time. And now, will that sometimes work? Yes, of course. Of course. The card has 47 hop badge. I'm not going to sit here and say that it's the worst card or worse than a bronze. It's simply not. But compared to the other cards that dropped, it's tough because I would 100% use Caruso over Steph Curry because he can quick stop and burst and he's taller. So the only thing that would really be redeemable about this card is the fact that he's Steph Curry to begin with. And I mean, a lot of people love Curry, but since he can't quick stop, since he can't do any sort of burst, even on his dark matter card, it doesn't matter if he can dunk. I mean, he's a 6'3 point guard. Who's running to the room with their 6'3 point guard? No, no one, it's Steph Curry. You want to shoot. That's that's what you want to do with the card. It's Steph, you know. That's what you want to do. And the one thing I will say is the one redeem redeemable quality this card has, all Steph Curry cards, is his leaner. But they've pretty much made leaners completely irrelevant because they were so OP at the start of the year. The Steph Curry leaner, in my opinion, is the best in the game. Some people can make the argument for... Uh, Normal leaner, but not nah, like Steph Curry is like the leaner that I think most people use on their my players because it's the best in the game. But they patched leaner so much that it's like not even good anymore. When Next Gen first dropped, the Steph Curry leaner was like my go-to move. Like this is what I was doing 
just running, fading with Curry. And I could green nearly all of them. The green window was just as big on a leaning three as it was on a standing three at the start of the game. Now, I'm not going to say that was a good thing, but they toned it down so much that like the Steph Curry leaner really doesn't help. It doesn't help. Like you don't want to do it. Like if you do it, it's on accident. And honestly, I don't really think anyone's running this card. Like definitely, definitely no one's running this diamond one, but like the, the dark matter one. I've played probably, I don't know, quite a few games this weekend. I uh, quite a few games. That's for sure. Since this card came out and I haven't seen any of them. I wagered Splash on Saturday and he did use this card, but it's Splash and even he tweeted today saying that card sucks. He knows it. It's his favorite player. That's why he was using him. And also I was on like no hours of sleep and he probably could have dogged me that the game with, I mean, anybody. But like, you know, it's just sad because Steph Curry's having such a great year. I love Steph as well. His jump shot base is incredible. I could definitely make the argument for it being on very quick, the best jump shot base on next gen. It very well could be, but since he can't quick stop since he can't quick boost it's just hard to justify this card and it's sad i wouldn't care but i just like curry so much i was really looking forward to using a new curry uh and it's just tough because it's literally one thing they could change and just make this card so much better like the thing that doesn't make sense so like you have the steph curry dribble style right so like i get it if they have a uh, dribble style for a certain player like this in the game they probably want to use that dribble style on the card i understand that they don't want to code in animations specifically for one player in the game and not use it but let's take pink diamond magic for example he had dribble style magic johnson right terrible dribble style it's not good honestly every dribble style on next gen is bad besides quicker shifty but magic johnson definitely not a good dribble style so what they do when they gave him a new opal they gave him quick it's not, it's not rocket science. Yes, there's a Magic Johnson dribble style in the game, but they know how bad it is. They knew if they didn't change it, nobody was gonna buy this card. So they went ahead and changed it to quick. It's not rocket science. So why can't they do that with Curry? I don't know. I mean, I'm sure they're aware of it, but you know, maybe I'm in the minority. Maybe I'm in the minority. Maybe people just don't, you know, maybe people just don't care at the casual level maybe 90 percent of people that have this card right now on their team don't even know what a dribble style is but for people that actually want to play this game at a decently high level and use their favorite cards at the same time it's definitely a big deal i mean we can go and look and see what we're seeing on twitter about the whole situation right now i uh, i know dbg just made a tweet about it right here Fully understand someone using a specific my team card because favorite player and have more fun. The amount of people saying they're legitimately trying to argue carries a top tier card even on next gen is worrying. I feel like the right players can make most cards look top tier. DBG goes, not even Splash Edition can make that curry look top tier on next gen. Keep in mind, Splash Edition is a 2K league player and a 250K runner up, right? On God, he sucks. Yeah, it's just it's just tough because I like Curry. If I didn't like Curry, I would never make this video because I like Curry and I wanted to use him. But it's just like, man, six three point guard, no quicker shifty at this stage in the game when you can use somebody like Alex Caruso, quick, Andre Miller, quick, Bull Bull, quick. Justice Winslow, quick. They gave Matt Bonner slasher, but okay, we're getting down here now. Like I would hope that Matt Bonner doesn't have quick. Like Isaac Okoro, quick. And like, I promise you, along with Pro 2, that's the Curry slide. Everybody's got the Curry slide. So like the Curry slide ain't helping Curry. Like, you know what I mean? So it's just tough. I would legitimately rather use Halliburton over this Curry any day of the week because it's just gonna be ridiculously hard to get open with this dribble style and not being able to quick stop makes it useless because you can't rely on the leaner anymore at all so anyways guys just want to make this video on a rant i mean i don't really know like what to say about this type of video i really don't do too many of these but it was on my mind i'm not doing much right now and uh yeah just figured i'd go ahead and just uh you know like i said call it ball a ball and a strike a strike a lot of great cards in this set i'm loving this simmons i'm loving this Rudy gay i'm loving this bull bull 
but this one is the only one out of this whole set that disappointed me so just wanted to go ahead and rant for a second anyways guys if you enjoyed the video leave a thumbs up whatever you want to do any support that's free would be thankful and appreciated so yeah guys i'm out of here